Good morning all, time to open some post, it's post bag. And the first item is actually five items because they're all very similar, so let's get these open. This one is audio cable. I suppose I shouldn't cut too close to the middle with these cables in case I cut them in half. And that's a short 3.5 millimeter stereo jack to the same, but one is angled and one isn't. So this one is probably something very similar. Oh, it's actually identical. <laughs> It's a 3.5 millimeter stereo angled to straight. Why did I buy two? Probably from different suppliers. I think this one's a little bit different. Oh, it's in a second bag. Slightly weird. Ah, okay. Uh, well, this is stereo mini jack, but female socket to two RCAs. And there appear to be two of these cables and they are a modest length. What are they? About half a meter. Half a meter. And the next one is, you can probably guess it's a cable. Oh, it's another one of these angled. I'm sure I didn't order all of these the same. I'm sure some of them were straight 3.5 stereo to uh, straight 3.5 stereo. Not all these angled ones. The sun's come out. Well, please, let's have something a little different not the same ah okay that is a male 3.5 stereo mini jack to two rcas that also looks like it's about i don't know 300 to 500 millimeters well these two are probably from different suppliers but they actually have the same part number on them so they're identical uh, this one's a little shorter so let's go through all these on ebay i'll make it quick now, one of these was supposed to be a right angle to right angle, 90 degree right angle, um, 3.5 millimeter jack male stereo, but it uh, I haven't seen that one yet. I've only seen the right angle to straight. So unless this one turns up in an envelope, they've picked the wrong item. 99 cents, Passion 201314. I've seen their name somewhere else. Also from Passion 201314, this uh, 3.5 millimeter stereo female to two RCAs. I think we saw that one. Again, 99 cents, free shipping, same seller. Now, let me explain what was going on in my mind here. Um, the idea was to take one of these two RCAs to stereo female, use one of these right angle to straight males these are all gold plated or certainly plated with something that is a goldish color so it was the, the idea was to do that and then that goes in this vocoder panel and into my 16 channel there are 16 inputs here because of course they're stereo so that would be the first two and then this would go off to boards which run along the top but it's a bit long and the whole idea of this has been abandoned because it's incredibly messy. And fundamentally, the thing I don't like about this arrangement is that these are not audio inputs because this is a virtual earth input of an op amp. So you can't actually feed, there's no input resistor here. You can't feed an audio signal in here. If you tried, it would just massively distort this. So this is taken from the, these boards on the top, which have outputs which have a series resistor. So since these are not audio inputs, I kind of figured, why am I using s sort of audio style connectors, which could fool me at some future date into thinking these were audio inputs. So the whole lot's gonna go. All of these cables are a bit of a waste of time. And I'm going to a ribbon cable kind of idea because these eight inputs here on these four connectors are actually all common. So this is one single signal these eight inputs are also common so that's another single signal so yeah this is all old and redundant and superseded now i'm doing all these for completeness really um here's another short uh, right angle to straight mail uh this one oh does not now sell to the united kingdom ya ya years eight uh one dollar 33 i assume that was free shipping um, another cable, another seller. This is the female. I have to switch to that 
image, that one, to the two RCAs. This one's Fat Mango, $1.80, free shipping, this one. And another one of these right angle straight ones. I can see why I bought those now, because the right angle goes into my output board. The straight one links to the female on the other cable, so it looks like a sort of continuous cable. Uh, this one, £1.50. This was uh, UK price, but from China. Free shipping, I think. Yes, and it's from E World Ship. And even yet another one, uh, right angle to straight, 99p, a small 39p shipping charge, Kaya 10. So lots of cables there. Okay, moving on to something not Vocoda related. Onto this one, it says wire cutter on the other side, but I think there's something other than a wire cutter in here. I think, oh, that's interesting. We've got some uh, connecting cables. I think I saw the wire cutter and just thought, yeah, that would be nice. And here is the wire cutter. Oh, that's interesting. It's got quite, it's a Plato uh, Model 170 pliers. Use safety glasses. Yeah, that looks pretty sharp. Uh, actually, that looks quite reasonable. It's certainly got big handles and a very small cutting surface, so you should be able to get a lot of pressure on there. And the other thing in this package are three of these little uh, high accuracy, or theoretically, because there are lots of decimal places, uh, LED voltmeters. So on these, 33 volts is the maximum measurable voltage. Um, and it goes down to zero because you use a separate independent power supply of between 4 and 28 volts. So let's just shove something on there quickly. Now I assume that uh, yellow is the measurement and red and black are the power supply. Let's go with that. I've just noticed something a bit nasty with the adjustment potentiometer in here. Let's have a quick look at that. And yes, the top bit where you put your screwdriver in has got bent up. Now that's not necessarily a problem because it looks like it rotates with the wiper assembly. This is a very dirty magnifying glass. Um, so that may not be a problem, but it does look like that got caught at some point. Uh, what are the chips? We've got a Nuvoton, which is, oh, I can't say which is the measurement chip and which is the um, display driver chip. And there's a little regulator in there, which is presumably what allows the 4 to 28 volts coming in on here. I'm just going to shove 9 volts on there in a moment. Ah, there's also a connector point there for ammeter, but this is not a dual ammeter voltmeter. This is just voltmeter. Let's get some volts on there. So 9 volts should be fine. Positive on red, negative on black. And yeah, that lights up. And it's one of these ones with four decimal places. Oh, is that the same as the one I've got over there? Let me just have a look. No, this one that I bought some years ago has three decimal places, which you'd think would be accurate enough. Four decimal places, it's hard to imagine that this thing can actually be accurate to four decimal places. Um, it may have four decimal places of resolution, but accuracy, well, of course, it depends on that pot. So if I can still turn that pot, I suppose I could trim it. But uh, yeah, these old ones are three decimal places. That's probably more than enough. But yeah, that's a bit mad having four decimal places. Actually, I was just wondering, can you measure using the same ground? You probably can, but in fact, if I just touch that, I'm going to get some voltage coming through my arms. Uh, yeah, that's got a huge number of decimal places. Weird. And the purpose of these is to measure the voltage on multiple cells of a multi-cell battery. In this case, it's super caps, but it could also be uh, lithium ions. <laughs> these are the eBay fakes. Uh, so yeah, I just want to stack up multiples of these. But of course, because they're all at a different ground potential, I'm going to need a separate uh, 9 volt battery. But I did buy a while ago a few of these Vapex ones, uh, separate power supplies so that they're all, they can all sit at different potentials. But yeah, that's what those are for. So this little bundle is from Satisfy Electronics, free shipping. Uh, $2.88 for the durable electrical wire cutter plier side snips and the meters are these uh, 0.36 inch lead five digit dc zero to 33 volts but 
I th it says there 33.000, so that's three decimal places. Um, and I've seen some others which are four decimal places up to about four volts or something like that. And then they jump to three decimal places from four volts up to 33 volts. So I ought to check whether this is one of those. But they tend to have on the connector um, two separate two pin connectors, whereas this has a single three pin connector. And actually, if I'm going to power these with batteries, the two separate two pin connectors would be more practical because essentially you've got two ground points available. Yes, let me just try that. So connecting yellow and red together on the positive. No, we've actually got four decimal places um, above four volts. So this is not one of those ones that changes the number of decimal places. Now, of course, above 10 volts, this is going to have to go to three decimal places. Uh, I need some more volts. Uh, 12 volt pack. Yeah, that'll do it. So let's put yellow and red on the pause and ground on the neg. And of course, yes, in order to show that it's 13.043 volts, it's had to switch to three decimal places. Yeah, that's interesting. So these voltmeters, they do vary a bit. There's all different types. Right, let's do uh, the fail of this post bag because this is something I bought actually ages ago and I now have superseded my requirement for this. And it's just some bottles. Footful, love it. Now, if you're thinking, why on earth did I buy plastic bottles? I mean, I'm not into redistributing cosmetics into plastic bottles. I don't know, for going abroad or something. No, the idea of these, well, let me get something. Well, it was for things like this, which is a 12 volt, I think, car rear and brake light. Actually, no, this is an odd one. This is white and yellow, which I think you use in America for the indicators and the side lights, uh, which we don't really do in this country, I don't think. Uh, and these sort of things, 12 volt festoon lamps, these which are uh, 12 volt side light lamps, which I think, yeah, comes with a remote so you can change their color. <laughs> How silly. And these, uh, oh, those got uh, old style LEDs. I think these are red. Oh, no, they're white. So they're probably for side lights. But anyway, all this 12 volt illumination stuff, I was thinking of doing some videos where I kind of test them and see what they're like. And one of the ideas, I'm not sure I'm going to actually end up doing this, was to put them in bottles um, to see if they overheat if they're in a sort of confined space. And I think that's why I bought these bottles. But these are plastic, so these would melt. Anyway, I think I've bought some glass ones of these. But actually, a solution came to me from my wife. Yeah, she bought this string of sort of little milk bottles with bits of string tied around them. And they had a solar panel on them, which is gone now. Um, they failed, I don't know, after a year and a day, as they're very accurately timed to do. But um, the bottles, so that the LEDs are no use now, but the bottles, I think, could be ideal for this enclosing lamps idea. Pass the lamp with its holder up into there, cork it, put it vertically like that and leave that on soak test for, I don't know, 24 hours or so to see whether these things will last in an enclosed space. So I'm not even going to go to eBay for these plastic bottles because I probably bought them over a year ago. I don't have the links anymore. You're not going to be interested in this. This is today's post bag fail. And finally, I found it. It has arrived. Let's have a look. This is the four decimal place uh, LED meter, which I think has two separate cables, which, as I say, I think it's more practical from the point of view of having one for the battery and the other one to put across the cell that you're trying to measure. Ah, can't open that. Yeah, so this one's slightly different. This one is uh, 3.5 to 30 volts. Now, that's the power supply, which will be on, on one of these connectors. As I say, it's got two separate connectors. Oh, there's a key there and a programming port, not implemented. And it's uh, 0 to 4.3000 volts, so that's four decimal places, or 0 to 33.000. So again, it switches 
to three decimal places, but this one switches at 4.3 volts, not 9.9 .9 volts, which that other one switched at. So let's power this one up. Well, this one says VN plus VN minus, and then VN plus, and then plus minus. So it's not immediately obvious which is the power supply. I'm going to guess it's that one up there. Um, this one doesn't have an adjustment pot, so it's either on the other side. I don't think it is because I can't see any pins poking through. Uh, or it's just um, preset. So this one can't be adjusted. I'm not sure whether I prefer the ability to adjust these or whether I'd rather have them adjusted at the factory and just rely on them being about right. I'm not sure which I prefer. Right, I'm going to plug that into that one. Bung 12 volts on it and see what happens. Okay, nothing. So that's obviously the wrong connector. This must be the measure connector and this is the power connector. Let's try that. Poke it in the holes. Oh, that's very interesting. Look at that. When it boots, you get three decimal places and then it jumps to four decimal places. How interesting. Uh, that uh, shimmer there is is the refresh rate and the camera colliding with each other. You can't see that in reality. But yeah, that's very interesting, the way that changes to four decimal places. And according to this, above 4.3 volts is the point at which it jumps to three decimal places. Mm, can I try that? Now, I can't be 100% sure that there's a common ground um, between these two connections. There probably is, because it's not an ammeter, is it? So it's rather difficult keeping all these connected, but see if I can feed something through me. Yeah, 0.1 of a volt there, but four decimal places. Crazy. But for strapping these onto the various cells of a multi-cell pack, um, I kind of prefer this because I can completely uh, have totally separate power supply, which can just be one of these 9 volt batteries, and measurement side, and just have them on separate connectors, which has got to be easier to uh, assemble. So I've only got one of these at the moment. They are slightly more expensive than uh, the other ones, which are now on the floor, with the three pin connector. But I think I might get some more of these. I also need some ammeters. Although, in my experience, these little LED uh, voltmeter ammeters weren't able, I, I had loads and I went through them all, and none of them were able to measure negative currents. They just wouldn't display negative values. So if you want to measure current going into a cell and then also see it coming out when that little balance circuit does its thing, it can't be these, because I haven't found one yet that does positive and negative currents. Uh, actually, just as a very last thing, I fancied putting one of these voltmeters, these high accuracy voltmeters, on this AD584, is it? Yes, AD584 uh, precision reference. So that's my wires plugged in. I just need to put power to this thing. It's set to 5 volts, so let's see what we get on the display. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> that's not bad, is it? Oh, it's jumping around into its four decimal places mode, but yeah. 5.001 volts. Actually, the other ones were four decimal places at five volts. Let me try one of those. Now, this is three wire, so I've got to somehow get that negative onto that test point there. Oh, and it's upside down. Oh, let's turn it the right way up. Yeah, that one's slightly out, isn't it? Well, that was the one with the bent pot. So it may have got twiddled a bit when it got bent, but 5.0061. Nice. And so these are today's post bag items, which I was just thinking I do need to try these side cutters, don't I? Let's see what they feel like. Oh, yes, they feel very nice. And they cut a very nice square end. Jolly good. A big thanks, as always, to my sponsor, JLC. PCB. Now I'm working on the final vocoder PCBs uh, now and I'm thinking about what sort of PCBs I'll make in the post vocoder era and I've got some ideas. Also a big thanks to my Patreon supporters. YouTube channels like mine do rely very much on uh, patrons. If you'd like to become a patron you can click this link here. There are another couple of videos up here if you want to watch more of my stuff and if you want to subscribe to my channel you're not already subscribed you can click this link here. Cheerio!